Parents and students should be aware of the new safety precautions implemented on school buses. Josh Navarro went to Greece Central School District today to find out how it's going to be so different this year. Going back to school on the bus is going to look different for students, and it all starts at the bus stop because students are going to have to remain socially distant at the bus stop and wear an appropriate face covering. Masks are required on all buses at all times. Also, bus capacity will be reduced by more than one half. That means one student per seat. 22 total students on a bus. If students can't follow that policy, they will be turned over to school administration, uh, and parents may have to be uh, looked at as as an alternative, that you need to provide transportation for your child because they cannot follow these health and safety protocols. As far as bus routes goes, a GCSD's plan is to keep them as is, but the routes may have to be smaller, and there may need to be more buses going out to do routes for individual schools. Richardson says students who opt out of needing bus transportation will also be a factor. As the numbers change, our routes will change. So that's really the bulk of our work over, the, over these next three weeks. Buses will be cleaned in three phases, starting off with a daily clean after each route and then weekly. A deeper clean will happen when there's an extended weekend. And then we have an electrostatic sprayer that really uh, deeply disinfects the buses, but that leaves a little bit of a, of a chlorine smell to it. That, that will only be done before the breaks and the extended weekend. So there's a deeper cleaning done then. In Greece, I'm Josh Navarro, News A. All right, Josh, thank you. We are told most of the school bus changes will be similar throughout the greater Rochester area.